believe that the earth is approximately 4 to 5 billion years old according to them it is originated as an extremely hot mass of gas and molten materials it cooled slowly to form the solid crust or lithosphere at present there are a variety of landforms such as plains mountains valleys gorges plateaus etc spread across the world a proper and systematic understanding of the features of these landforms demands a sound perception of the formation and structure of the earth interior our indirect sources of information regarding the earth's interior are volcanic eruption deep mines and earthquake waves geology is a branch of science that deals with the study of the earth's structure scientists involved in this study are known as geologists welcome students so today we are going to start our new chapter that is inside our earth in that chapter we are going to discuss about the interior of the earth as we all know that earth is a dynamic place and we also know that the earth is only the planet where the life can sustain all right as we have discussed in our previous chapter in chapter 1 that the what is environment what are the components of environment and the human environment and the ecosystem and living and non living organism and all these aspects we discuss in chapter 1 coming to the second chapter in this chapter we will come to know that what is inside our earth what are the layers and why these layers are important for us and all these aspects we are going to discuss in this chapter and we also discussed about the layers the uppermost layers of the earth that is the lithosphere hydrosphere biosphere and atmosphere and as these layers are very important for us and as these layers are appearing on the earth let's talk about the interior layer of the earth how many layers are there and what are their important let's discuss that by the help of this diagram now i will tell you about the three layers that is the crust second mantle and third that is core okay and in this map now we will point out these things that the uppermost layer of the earth is called crust as this is the diagram of our earth and is it is also called lithosphere and as this layer from this to this we are saying this is the crust only and this the beneath of the earth and uppermost layer of the earth as this is the as this is the core and this we have inner core and this is called outer core beneath the beneath the crust and uh, upside of the core here we have a mantle so now we will discuss the first layer of the earth that is crust crust and lithosphere 
layer is a top hard layer of the earth and it is composed of rocks and minerals as we have discussed in chapter 1 that the lithosphere is a source of minerals okay and it is also called a very thinnest of all the layers all right and the thickness the average thickness of these layers are differ from continent to ocean like in continent the average thickness is of 35 km or the in ocean it could be 5 or 10 from 0 to 10 all right now we will uh, now i will tell you the uh, the continent crust and the ocean crust as let's understand by this diagram that this this place is the hard top layer of the earth is called the continent continent crust okay this layer is also this layer is called the continent crust and here where we are having the mountains valleys and the the, the plateaus these places are called continent and this inner layer of the earth is called the ocean crust similarly this where we have a water this layer is called ocean all right so the continental crust and ocean crust the uppermost layer of the earth that is the continental crust and the lower uh, layer of the earth that is the ocean crust okay the continental crust and this ocean crust uh, these layers comprises the different minerals that are the continental crust it comprises the sial and the ocean crust in comp it comprises sima sial means silica almuna almunia and sima means silica magnesium all right just beneath the crust there is a mantle now we will discuss about the mantle so now let's talk about our second layer of the earth that is the mantle it is also known as the mesosphere and it is a intermediate layer of the earth in terms of location as well as density all right it lies beneath the crust and extends up to the core all right and the average thickness of this layer is 2000 km 2900 km and it is it is made up of the mantle is made up of rocks and these rocks which are far denser than the constituting the crust it means the the structure the things the things uh, it is uh, the crust is made up of it is uh, the mantle is far more denser than the crust all right there are the three layers that used to make these mantle these are iron magnesium and silicon these are the major constituent of the uh, mantle okay and uh, the the structure of the rocks that all are depending upon the temperature and the pressures okay these rocks can be solid or semi solid it is because of the the temperature and the pressure condition of the mantle all right the temperature the temperature of the mantle is always very high because of the molten magma that is coming out from the uh, coming out to the surface as a lava during the volcanic 
eruption. More about mental. The mental is consist of consisting of three layers. Okay, these layers are upper mental, middle mental, and lower mental. Mid upper mental it is made up of as we talk about the rocks. Okay, these rocks extends from the crust. Okay, downwards to the depth of the seventy five kilometer to hundred kilometer. As here we have a crust. so from the crust to the downward it would be this rocks would be this upper mantle would be in the depth of 75 or 100 km all right then we are talking about the middle mantle the middle mantle the average thickness of this uh, this this uh, layer is 300 km all right and it is also known as the asthenosphere it means to flow it means as we were uh, we discuss about that uh, the molten magma okay the the heat due to the heat and pressure condition the molten magma that is coming to the surface and due to the volcanic eruption or or it is it is happening in the middle mantle and we are calling it asthenosphere because of the flow of the uh that uh, molten magma all right then coming to the lower mantle that lower mantle is also known as the sol solid part because due to the heat and pressure that part this part has become very solid now we will talk about our third layer that is core Now let's talk about our third interior layer of the earth and it is also known as the innermost layer of the earth that is the core the average density of this core is 3500 km okay this is this is made up of heavy metals known as nickel or ferrous okay and in short we can say knife ni means nickel and fe means ferrous all right the temperature of the core is subject to a very high okay it is near about the 3000 degree centigrade to 6000 degree centigrade okay gluten discontinuity what is this what it means let me tell you what is the gluten discontinuity as this is our earth okay as we have discussed we have we have discussed about the three layers of the earth as this layer known as the crust okay this layer is known as the core and this layer is known as the mantle okay so what we are saying that the that this mantle it is beneath the crust and uppermost of the core okay so extends uppermost of the core so this line that divides the core to mantle it is known as the gluten discontinuity this line is also known as the gluten discontinuity that divides the core to mantle all right then here we have a uh, the further we can divide the core into a two layer that is the outer core and inner core this line that is known as the outer core or this line this one here we have a inner core all right so outer core it is made up of liquid all right and inner core it is made up of solid crystalline why we are showing so that outer core is made up of liquid and the inner core that is made up of solid as we can see they are here that it is the the mantle the outer core it is it, it is very close to the mantle so this place is also known as the so uh, liquid and we can say semi solid and but the inner core it is known as the solid and crystalline because of the reason is because 
the the because of the highest temperature we are having the outer core it is in liquid but because of the underlying of the so many layers so the the most of the thing it become the solid so we are saying the inner core is a solid and crystalline as the crust comprises numerous types of rocks and minerals now we will discuss this topic in our next video so till then stay happy stay safe